Hey there handy guys and gals. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to start a profitable mowing side hustle. I'll show you what equipment you'll need, how to get customers, what to charge, things to try and things to avoid when starting this business. So stay tuned. But before we dive in and get to the good stuff, would you please hit that like and subscribe button and then smash the bell icon so you'll be notified the next time I post one of these side hustle videos. Okay, if you're new to the channel, I started making a monthly video series about side hustle jobs that you can start doing to earn extra money. Last month's side hustle job was one that most anyone can do, and that was starting a junk removal service. I'll put a link to the video in the upper corner here for you. These side hustle jobs aren't just something the handyman can do. There are jobs nearly anyone can do on weekend, evening, or day off and make extra income. This month, I'm highlighting a side hustle job I think a lot of you are aware of, but maybe didn't take it too serious. This month's side hustle job that nearly anyone can do is to start a lawn mowing service. A lawn mowing service is just about as easy as junk removal service to start. In fact, a lot of the same equipment that you use to start a junk removal company can be used to start your lawn mowing service. Maybe you will want to mix the two side hustles, but in reality, if you do a lawn mowing service well, you won't have time to do much anything else. I've seen more than one person start out by driving around, mowing lawns with his push mower in the back of his or her pickup along with a leaf blower, string trimmer, and a few hand tools and gas cans. There are stories of kids starting out by pushing their lawn mowers down the street with a broom and a string trimmer tied to the mower and eventually turning their little yard, uh, lawn mowing service into a huge business. Back around 2005, there was a couple brothers in Texas who grew a lawn mowing service from humble beginnings to grossing over a million dollars per year. They eventually sold their business, but it goes to show you what is possible. This is truly a money tree type of business. You can make as much or as little as you want. Every summer, our area comes alive with people mowing lawns for extra cash. You'll see all types of rigs, from people driving around with lawn mowers sticking out of their car trunks to huge landscaping trailers with $30,000 worth of zero-turn mowers and equipment in them. So what do you need to do to start a side hustle mowing lawns? It's simple. You're going to need some way of getting your equipment from place to place. Whether that is pushing it down the street, in the back of a car trunk, a pickup bed, or trailer. What you use is up to you. But don't go overboard with this. You don't need a $10,000 landscaping trailer to start. Second, you're going to need a mower, maybe two. A push mower is all you need for many yards, especially in subdivisions with these postage stamp size yards. Most backyard gates are going to be anywhere from 24 inches wide to 36 Next, you're going to need a leaf blower and a string trimmer. An edger would also be a nice addition, but not necessary if you can do a good job edging with your string trimmer. You're also going to want to carry a large trash can, trash bags, rakes, hoes, shovels, brooms, and dust pans. Dust masks and gloves will also come in handy. And, and that's really about it. Really simple and easy to get into lawn mowing. Now, how are you going to get customers? Well, here's a few ideas I have for you. As with any side hustle, word of mouth is the best advertising you'll ever have. Start by talking to your friends and families and tell them that you're starting a lawn care business. Make sure you have some business cards made up. You can get 
some from Vista Print, pretty darn cheap. Like, I don't know, 50 or 100 for $15 or something like that. Well worth the cost. Other ways you can get some lawn care customers is to use the internet. This is my favorite way to advertise because there are so many ways to do it for free or low cost. For example, you could simply start making posts on Facebook page that you offer lawn mowing service. If you have a lot of local people who are following you, that will be some of the cheapest advertising. But just to remember, not everyone on your friends list will see your posts thanks to how Facebook works. I would make at least two posts a day, one in the morning and one in the evening. Make sure you add some pictures and it wouldn't hurt to add your starting price. For example, like lawn mowing service starting at $35. Craigslist is a great way to advertise as well. Since they started ch charging $5 for ads, it has really reduced the number of fly by night people looking for a quick buck. <clears throat> the trick with Craigslist is that you need to make a professional looking ad with a lot of pictures. Simply logging on and posting some crappy pictures and a few sentences about being cheap lawn care won't get you very far. If you really want to get serious about making money with lawn care as a side hustle, I would go out and get some door hangers. The more lawns you mow in the neighborhood, the more efficient you'll be and the more profit you'll make. If you mow one lawn in a subdivision, then drive five miles to mow another, then another three miles to mow another, you're going to be less efficient and less profitable. The people who really do well in this business are the ones who blanket a neighborhood. You can check out Vistaprint for door hangers. Get a couple hundred made up and every time you mow in a new neighborhood, canvas the street leaving door hangers on the neighbor's doors. Keep doing this about once a month. In any business, if you can get your satisfied customers talking about you and your business, then you have half the battle won. A good way to get them talking is to offer incentives. Maybe you could give them a free mowing for every new customer they, they bring in. Or maybe a $25 Starbucks gift card for every person they recommend who signs up for your service. Or maybe every three people. You get the hint. There's a guy in my area who mows on the side. He has more business than he can handle. He actually has a waiting list of people wanting to use his service. How did he do this? He goes around and mows a few lawns each week for free. These are lawns of elderly who cannot mow themselves or who can't afford it. He also will do a free mowing for disabled vets. Every summer, hardly a week will go by without somebody on the local, local Facebook group talking about how great this guy is. Now we get to the business of what to charge for your lawn service. I see these guys out there mowing lawns for $15. They don't last long. If you want a long-term side hustle, you're going to have to treat this like a business. You're going to have to know what your expenses are. How much gas do you use driving around and in your equipment? What are your maintenance costs? Equipment costs if you bought any equipment. Advertising cost, insurance cost, etc. One thing you have to guard against is getting into the mindset of, oh, no one will pay me that much to mow a lawn, or if I don't lower my rate, someone else will come along and take my business away. Or my favorite excuse I hear a lot is, you can't charge that much around here, people just won't pay it. Let me tell you this. There will always be people who cannot afford your services. There will always be people who will not pay much for anything, no matter the, how high the quality is. And there will be always be people who want the best job done and don't mind paying for it. It's that last group of people I prefer to work for. You're going to want to sit down and figure out how you want to be paid. In this day and age, getting paid should be one of the easiest things you do. 
I would suggest that you offer a way for your customers to pay with a credit card. PayPal, Stripe, or Square are all good ways to get paid with debit or credit cards. Heck, they can even pay you through Facebook using their credit card. So make it easy for them. You may also want to allow them to pay with cash or check. Many successful lawnmower companies charge by the size of the lot. That's what I would suggest starting out. Most places in the United States have a way to go and see what lot size is of an address. Most of the time it's going to be with the county assessor's website. Speaking of getting paid, I would highly suggest you have a website or some type of online presence where your customers can go to pay ahead of time. I highly recommend you get paid ahead of time. If not, you're going to have people screw you over. They will give you all kinds of excuses <clears throat> all the while you keep mowing their lawn thinking they are going to catch up. The most I would let someone get behind is one mow, but I prefer not, not even that. That's why it will be important to get paid ahead of time. You can even set them up to be billed automatically through PayPal, Stripe, or Square billing by switching over to a credit card. I would give each customer a customer mowing agreement. It would also be great if you had this online and make it so they have to agree to it before you mow their lawns. Here are some things you need to include in the agreement. Things like what happens if you show up and the gate to the backyard is locked? Are you going to make another trip out to mow their backyard? That's more expense right there. What happens if they left a pack of pit bulls loose in the backyard? Or what happens if you open the gate and the pets run off and you can't catch them? What happens if there's a lot of trash in the yard or stuff like garden hoses and trampolines that need to be moved before you can mow? All these things are things you need to take into consideration and let your customer know what your course of action will be if you run into these situations. Remember, some people will try to take advantage of you over and over if you let them. Have a customer agreement list for them. I'll have a sample customer agreement linked below. If you don't feel comfortable having your customers pay in advance, then at the very least, have them signed up to pay via credit card or debit card and it'll be automatically billed the day after you mow. This way, if someone's card doesn't go through and you can't reach them to collect payment, you can just skip their yard in the upcoming week. Can lawn mowing be a year-round side hustle? Well, if you live in the South, it sure can. But even if you live elsewhere, you can add services like gutter cleaning, leaf removal, pool cleaning, Junk removal, landscaping, debris removal, snow removal, and many other things to carry you over until the spring mowing season comes along. As I said earlier, this is truly a side hustle you could turn into a full-time income if you wanted. It's all up to you. Most people are perfectly happy earning part-time income with a lawn mowing side hustle. And that's just fine. But if you dream of bigger and better things, it's possible to reach those higher dreams by building yourself a successful lawn mowing business. Hey, let me know if you mow lawns or you're thinking about starting a side hustle mowing lawns yourself. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to check out the blog at bluecollardiy.com. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe below and smash that bell icon if you want to get notified when I post the next Side Hustle video next month. Thank y'all for watching. Donald Lau.